Hello and good evening, this is uh, Ruth Pozuelo from Curva.com and uh, today I'm going to show you how to categorize or rank your data and then filter by the top 3, 5 and 10 with the slicer. So let me show you what I mean. Here I have an example of a list and uh, the filter top 3, top 5, top 10 and all. So when I click on top 5, it will give me the top 5 values for this operator. Top 10, it will give me all or top 3. Okay, so this is what I, we will do today. Let's start. So first of all, let's look at the data. This is a very, very simple data set. Uh, we have a, a date, operator, month, year, and then we have a machine and some measures that have been taken on each machine by a certain operator, okay? So what we would like to have is a list of machines with the top measure values by the operator. So, so what I have here is a list of machines and uh, the average of the values. In reality, it's not the average, it's the median, but either way, you can choose to change this. Uh, so what we want to do first is to create a ranking of values. So let's do that. We're going to create a new measure that will rank machine rank by measured value. So it will rank um, the measured values per machine. And for that, we will use our rank x function. I have a video explaining these functions. So if you are unsure on how to use it, please check out that video. I have a link on the description box. So here we will use a table which will be all data machines and then we are going to rank by our average value we don't need anything there and then we are going to rank descendant so let's see what this does Put it in there and what it does is it takes the average value, the highest average value and ranks it number one and that was for machine three and then uh, the next one was for machine 10 and then for machine six and machine eight and so on and so forth. So this is great. Now, what we want to do is to have a filter that we can say, okay, show me just the first three values, the first five or the first 10 or everything. Okay, so we don't have that filter. We need to create it manually. So that's the first thing we will do. We will go to our query editor and click on enter data. And here we'll write top. And we have top n. Here will be values, and here is top n. This is the names. This will be the name of the filter, so that's why we will not write anything else. So one. No, sorry, this is three. I'll show you why in a second. Top n three, five, and ten. And then we have top n five and top n ten. And we call this top n table. 
close and apply. So now we do have a list of... So what we want now is when I click on top three, it will filter by three and we want to order this, right? So, okay, so what we're going to do, we select this, uh, the column and then we sort by top and values. And you see that it sorts correctly here. Okay, so what we need to do now is when I click on top and three, only three values have to be visible in the table. And to accomplish that, we need to do two things. First, we need to create an indicator of what has been selected here. And once we have that, we need to use that to filter this uh, table. So the first thing we're going to do is to tell um, Power BI what we have selected here. For that, we're going to create a new measure. We call it selected top n value. And what we're going to say here is if has one value, that means if something has been filtered here in our filter top n, then return the value top n values. Otherwise, nothing. So what this is basically doing is saying, okay, if you, if I selected this, return the top table top n values. So I think it's easier to see it in action. There we have it. So if I select top n5, it will return 5 because that is the top n value. If I select 10, it will return turn. If I select both, it will return both. Okay. Now, what we need to do is to create a measure that does this average or median um, that filters by this um, filter that we just created. So it sounds more complicated than it is. Let me show you how it's done. We create a new measure. We're going to call it average. And here what we're going to say is if our rank is less or equal than our selected top value, then calculate the average value. So if the selected top value is three, then choose the values that are less or equal to three and give me the sum. That, that is basically what is happening. So now we remove the average value, we bring in our new measure and let's see what happens. And it's exactly doing that, it's saying, okay, if I select top five, they said return the average measurement value for those that are equal to five or less. And top 10, that's exactly the same thing. Now, what happens if I don't choose anything? Of course, everything will be blank. And that is not, perhaps not a, a good user experience. The best is that something gets returned all the time. So the reason why we don't get any values with nothing else selected is in here, where we said, if nothing is selected, return blank. That is really not what we want. What we would like is that it retains the entire table when nothing else is selected. And for that, what you can do is replace the blank with uh, the maximum value value for the machines but it's the maximum value 
of the rank, right? So I'm going to show you what it does. So what it writes here is a dynamic way to get the highest value for the machine rank. So it says, okay, if there is nothing selected here and the table has 24 values, then it will write 24 and then the table will return all the values. So now it works as it should. And when we select nothing, it returns everything. Now, if you really want to get three values, you need to remove the rank measure. It should work only on the background. So let's do that again. We have top three, top five, top 10, and all. Nice, right? So this is all for today. I hope you really enjoyed the video and you find it useful. Uh, if you like it, please let me know by liking it. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let me know either in the comment box or in any of the social channels listed below. And uh, subscribe. I publish uh, Power BI videos every week. Have a great evening. Bye.